Good afternoon. My name is Rabbi Michael Green from Westboro, Massachusetts. I'd like to thank all the, um, the men and women and children who are here today to express our protest for these grave assaults on our freedoms. Today, tonight, is a fast day in the Jewish religion. It's the ninth of the month of Av, and it marks uh, 1,941 years since the destruction of the Holy Temple in Jerusalem. The Talmud, the Babylonian Talmud, was written several hundred years later, but it records a very important historical um, fact that the, the sin or the debauchery or the, that led to, that precipitated the destruction of the Temple, the, the, the deterioration of societal life in Jerusalem that led to its destruction was when school children were prevented or hindered from attending school. This, the sages from the Talmud based this on a verse in Jeremiah, the prophet, that there is no greater cause for divine wrath than when children are outside of school and are prevented from entering or hindered from entering school. And that, my friends, is exactly what these draconian bills represent. I sat through hours of listening to Representative Vargas and Senator Rausch's and, and their supporters speak against religious exemption numerous months back right here at the State House. The mantra they kept repeating was that vaccines are, quote, safe and effective, end quote, and that no religion supports exemption to vaccination. Both claims are patently false. Vaccines are not safe. They, they are unavoidably unsafe, according to the Supreme Court. Regarding the second claim, I'm here today to represent the world's original Abrahamic faith, Judaism. Orthodox Judaism is diametrically opposed to the mandated vaccine schedule. I have discussed this matter with rabbis across the Commonwealth and throughout the world. Hundreds of rabbis over this past year. There is not one single Orthodox rabbi who endorses the current mandatory vaccine schedule. Not one. Exemption is a religious right, and in the case of some of the shots, it is a sacred duty. You will not dictate to us which children may attend our schools and which may not. You will not impose medical tyranny on us here in Massachusetts. You will not tell us that a child is only entitled to an education if he or she submits to an injection of your pharmaceutical product that contains morally dubious ingredients, well-known toxins, and for which there is zero liability or recourse. I simply cannot believe that we are still having these conversations now after all these months, and in current times especially, when public distrust of pharmaceutical companies, so-called public health policies, and their government collaborators is at an all-time high. Enough of this nonsense. Massachusetts was the first state to pass a comprehensive education law in 1789. That education of children at that time became a communal responsibility. By passing these unjust bills, we are shirking our communal responsibility. Our nation's motto has always been, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses who yearn to breathe free. Well, apparently, we are no longer guaranteed the right to breathe free anymore here in Massachusetts, pun intended. Moreover, by imposing these draconian bills, you are creating a new caste system, a new population of huddled masses whom you are marginalizing simply because of their deep-held personal beliefs which are protected by the First Amendment. Senators and representatives, I appeal to you, do not trample our First Amendment rights. Do not ca collaborate with pharma and their rich profits. I'd just like to, to add with regards to the so-called COVID-19 vaccine. Without going into details about the specific religious, the violations of Judaism that each and every vaccine entails. Well, I'll just name a few, just for starters. Horrific cruelty to animals, live dissection, live dissection of animals. Every single vaccine contains bovine serum that's extracted from a living calf. 
Where are the vegans? Where are the animal advocacy people here today? Good, thank you. We're on the same team. In addition, numerous vaccines contain DNA material that was developed, was harvested from living human beings in a cruel process called the water bag method, which is a fancy word for live dissection. This is morally reprehensible and abominable. According to what I've heard, the upcoming vaccine for COVID is precisely one of these vaccines. This is inexcusable and reprehensible. This is a violation. This flies in the face of everything we hold dear. So I tell, again, I say to you, legislators and representatives of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, do not mess with the Bill of Rights. My body, my choice, our bodies, our choices, and we mean it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Could you state your name again oh. for the camera? My name is Rabbi Michael Green, and I am a personal representative of the Lubavitcher Rebbe. I run a I'm the rabbi and director of the Chabad Jewish Center in Westboro, Massachusetts, where the religious freedoms and choices of all families and all children are honored. You're welcome to attend. Thank you.